Welcome to Black as World Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nani. And welcome, collective. Did you miss me? I'm hearing, hell yeah, I miss y'all too. So this is going to be your general message. I'm going to let y'all know what is going down. For real, for real. No cap. But anyway, before we get into it, let's like this Palo Santo so we can bless the message and get everything we need to know out there. God, I come to your prayer asking that you open up my third eye for the collective. We want to know everything there is to know. Also, ask that any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me, I ask that you send them back to jail, hell, where they belong. Amen. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, boys and girls. Let's get your messages out. What's going on with the collective? You may be dealing with somebody who is only with you for what you can do for them. Be careful. What does the collective need to know? This may be involving somebody who is trying to exploit you for money when it comes to a child. This could be abortion money or child support money. Mm -hmm. This person is a narcissist. So, mm, best way to go about it is the legal system. What does the collective need to know? 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 here and time's up confirmation this may be a taurus virgo or a capricorn you may be a gemini libra or aquarius or you may be this person does not make you happy you have opened up your heart to this person and give this person a lot of chances i feel like you find this person to be very impulsive i feel like you f i honestly feel like this person doesn't have much to offer as well i feel like you you're kind of tired of feeling like this person's mother or father I feel like this person doesn't make you happy, have, has done things in the past that, you know, question their loyalty to, to you. I feel like you feel like with them, you have wasted so much time and the commitment isn't where it should be or where you want it to be for a, the amount of time that y'all have been together. Mm -hmm. This is for somebody who's been together with somebody for six to six, six months to a year. But um, this person, if you're no longer with this person anymore, they're going to come back. Expect this person to reach out to you. They're manifesting you back in your, into their life. And they're hoping that you say yes. Because they do want to either move in together or just start a life together with you. This may also be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Basically, every sign is out on the table. So decipher which one is yours. But I really feel like when it comes to this person, I feel like you should say no. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of things that you don't know about this person. And if you did know, you would let this person go. And you'll move on. Plus, the things that they're hiding in their closet. On top of all of that, they're a liar. So, your best bet is to just leave this person alone. Cut the losses. Cut your losses. Because this person is a sneaky P. What's this person's hidden truth? They don't want you to know. Because they're such a liar, they don't want you to know the truth. This person's childish. Mm -hmm. And they wonder if you're happy without them. But they are still obsessed with you. Still horny over you. Still not letting you go. Mm -hmm. Wishing that they treated you better. And just expect this person to come back trying to make it seem like they've become a better person. Only to swindle you in to being with them again because they miss you. 
This person has lost themselves. They don't even know who they are. Also, this person is also afraid to contact you. But they're going to because you're the best thing that ever happened in their life. And they can't get you out their head. And they're hell bent on being together again. Because they truly want to feel happy. Because who, who made them happy? You did. They thought those material things could make them happy. But it didn't. But if you think this person is single, they're not. If you think their life is put together, it's not. So you must be this person's lesson and move on. Because they're not ready for you and they never will be. Never will be. The time ain't right for y'all at all. I don't think the time ever gonna be right. This person ain't. They're not up to par. Current love life for the collective. Yeah, and they show you unrequited love in their player. The truth is in the cards. The truth is in your face. And the truth is being laid out on this table. You're going to have to let this person simmer in the shit that they created. Current love for, for the collective. Current love. Current love for the collective. Current love. Current love for the collective. Current love. I'm here. Oh, there she goes. Watch out, son. She'll. Or was it? Watch out, boys. She'll chew you up. Oh, there she goes. She's a man eater. Oh, there she goes. Watch. Okay, okay. Okay, basically what I'm hearing is you're ripping off the heads of people who are not the one. You, I, you're coming in with so much charm and you're leaving out after doing so much harm. Because I really feel like a lot of people that's coming into your life come in with so much smooth talking, covered, deception, Covered with smooth talks, long walks, and bullshit. You end up leaving these people behind because they don't be making you happy for real. But these be the same people that keep coming back, keep reaching out, keep holding on. But you can't trust these people. These people are big flirts. They're whores. They're not what you want in life. They don't have the same morals as you. And they're walking red flags. These are the same people who are coming back to and they're codependent on your energy. And these be your exes that you have released, but they just won't release you. And they, and for all of them, for most of them, they see you as their end all be all, but they just refuse to just only love you. They want their cake and eat it too. But you say every time, fuck no, bitch. It's me or no one. It's me or you go to the streets where you belong. That's okay. I love myself. That's fine. I keep an open mind for somebody new and give somebody new a chance. I'll sit here and learn the lesson and get to know somebody else. I'll let go of control and work on myself. Hmm. These people ain't the one. These people ain't your soulmate. And these people are childish. And they got some growing to do. I don't care how much effort they put in. They're still childish. And they're still untrustworthy. Untrustworthy as fuck. No doubt about it. New love for the collective. New love. New love for the collective. New love. New love for the collective. 
Anyway. After you learn from this situation, somebody new is gonna come in. But be, be but please be careful. Oh, this is some more candy coated bullshit. Mm -hmm. This person will come in trying to make an effort, wanting a, wanting a chance with you, but you're gonna end up seeing that this person ain't the one. The person full of shit. Once you get to know this person, you're gonna see that their morals and their religious factors don't line up with you. And that you've had somebody like this before. You're going to end up saying no thank you to their offer. Because you're going to see this person as not safe to love. And you're going to go right back to the drawing board and call in you somebody new. You're not going to give a damn how fine they are. Because you want the real deal. Not just passion. You want to date to marry. Not just to date to fuck. You want the one. Mm -hmm. This person is going to be very codependent on your energy. And they're going to be a walking red flag. So, uh, yeah. You're getting some advice from me. Because this person coming in real soon. And this person is that ex that won't leave you alone. Or the exes. Because it's more than one ex. The exes who won't leave you alone. These exes are hoping that you are optimistic about giving them a second chance. Only because they don't want you with nobody else. They don't want you to express that good love to nobody else. Mm. <sighs> the girls and boys are fighting. That's what it's giving. Let's get you some advice. Yeah. Don't let this snake back in. They only gonna give you, they only gonna break your heart. Cut and dry. Cut and dry. What's the advice for the collective? Yeah. I'm hearing that's it. Your intuition is warning you about this person who's gonna come into your life and take your your kindness for weakness, who's going to sell you a dream and who is still toxic. This person is going to what want a relationship with you, want to you know, have a second chance with you. But this person ain't nothing but an energy vampire. They're toxic in the worst way. This person's also going to always leave you hanging. And that is what your intuition is warning you about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me some messages for the collective. Give me some messages for the collective. Evil don't sleep, so make sure that you pray. Protect you at the end of the day. This somebody is hiding their feelings for you. Mm, 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 mm. God wants you to not become bitter. Don't allow the ugly things of the world make you an ugly person. Just because you go through a lot of things don't mean that you have to become this hard stone. Continue to be compassionate. Continue to be loving. Continue, continue to be you. Because that is what's going to continue to bless you. Your kind heart. Just know that your ancestors are doing all your dirty work. So people who do things to you, they're going to get theirs in the end. God wants you to move with caution when it comes to new lovers as well as old lovers. This person who wants you back can't even feel love because they're heartless and they're in a relationship. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This person wants you to know that if they told you the truth that, that, that you would leave them. The truth is that they also like the same sex and that they will never be faithful, ever. Marriage is not in that vocabulary at all. Mm -hmm. But yet they're drawn to your energy. Mm -hmm. Just know that their karma, oh, they're dealing with it. They're getting it because everything is being reversed back onto them. This person is obsessed with you sexually and they're horny for you. Can't get enough of you. Know that you're highly favored and this person feels powerless without you. God has sent in some angelic help 
to help you on your journey as well as give you some insight on what's going on. These people who either did magic on you or basically was being nosy and peeking in onto your life, their, their gifts are being taken away for being very reckless. God wants you to continue to stay on a high vibration so that these low vibrational people can't touch you. Also, respect yourself at all times. Don't allow anybody to come and disrespect you or, uh, or don't disrespect yourself by allowing things that don't reflect your character. These people who want to back in your life carry dark spirits with them and they stalk you. They stalk you all damn day, mainly because they don't got no job. They don't got nothing else to do. And at this time, God's humbling them, taking a lot from them, mm, forcing them to sit down. Know that this person's family low-key hates you because of all the stuff that they said, to, said about you to them, all the lies that they said. God wants you to walk by faith and not by sight and understand that justice is going to be due to you. Mm -hmm. Know that this person from the past hated they, they hated they couldn't trap you. So when it comes to doing anything sexual with this person, don't do it because this person is a false person. Only going to be karma. And know that you are a star collector. You're meant for greatness. You're meant to have a spiritual connection with somebody. True. Not nobody that's false. And if you feel like you want some love and you feel unloved at this moment, just go buy yourself some roses. You don't need anybody to do it for you. Buy your own. Understand that God is about to bless you with your wish fulfillment. If it's career, he's going to give it to you. If it's love, it's going to happen for you. And if it's just health, it's going to get better for you. Because these people abused their power when it came to you. Mm -hmm. They took your kindness for weakness. And they went down the wrong path when they did that. And karma is going to be due. Let's get you some angel messages. Give me some angel messages for the collective. Know that you are having a spiritual cleansing and renewal. A new you. You are stepping into a new you. God wants you to lighten up and enjoy life because he is about to bless you with a new relationship. So be prepared. Understand that everything that's happening in your life is because you are in alignment and you're being divinely guided down the right path. Mm -hmm. So know that your answers, that your prayers are being answered. So thank God. Thank him. Also, you need to start trusting more in your life choices and yourself. You know what's best for you. And when it comes to your goals, just know that they're so close. They're literally right down the street. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing don't even read these ones because that that was that was your message. Anyway, if you haven't heard this today, baby, you are you are a bright shining star. And pretty soon you're gonna be shooting to the sun shooting to the moon. And everybody who didn't believe in you, who's beneath you, is gonna have to look up to you. It's going to suck to suck. Anyway, I want to thank you all for the love and support, the donations, as well as the bookings. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye.